The Vanguard method starts with check, studying your organisation to understand the what and why of performance as a system. It requires detailed effort to study, and it's important that the work is thorough and robust because everything that follows will depend on having sound knowledge. Check reveals many things. The extent of failure demand, demand caused by a failure to do something or do something right for the customer. Of greater interest for the later work on redesign is what's learned about value demand, what customers actually need from the organisation. During check, you'll establish measures of achievement of purpose in customer terms. This usually produces a shock for managers, the true customer experience being completely at odds with the measures that have been treated as proxies for serving customers. It's vital to measure before you map, because measurement will reveal the necessity or otherwise for further studying. Mapping the flow of work end-to-end -end from the customer's point of view reveals the sub-optimization of performance and its causes. The causes are what we call system conditions, and these are in place because of the way we think about management. If check has been completed thoroughly, you'll have everything you need to redesign the whole system to deliver better service at much lower costs. When you're ready to redesign the system, you'll have choices about whether you do it through direct action across the whole system, or by taking just some customer demand and building a prototype. If you take the latter route, you'll learn about the importance of roll-in as opposed to roll-out. In summary, the Vanguard method has three high-level steps. Step one, check, get knowledge. Step two, plan. On the basis of that knowledge, plan a service design that will deliver better service at much lower costs. And then step three, do. Execute your plan.